Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new guitar lesson. Today I'll be teaching you how to play Anywhere by Rita Ora. Um, just like the intro part has the most guitar, so I'm going to show you exactly what that is. Um, the very first little lead riff that comes into the song is just it's right here, it's quite nice. So I'm going to show you that first and I'll show you the main, you know. So, let's get straight into this one. So it's going to be 11th fret on the G string, 14th fret on the G string after that, 12th fret on the B string, and then it goes quickly into the 15th fret on the B string. So it's kind of a... If you listen to the song, it just kind of jumps into the 15th. It doesn't actually do the same. You know, it's not the same. It's more like... And as soon as that, as soon as it hits the 15th, then this, the whole, the whole rip starts. Anyway, I'm going to run you through that really quick. So, the main riff is going to be, you're going to bury your fourth finger across the seventh fret on the E, uh, just all of them basically, but you're only going to use the E string and the G string on the seventh frets. So the fourth part is going to be, so you got that, it's going to be tom, finger, tom and then your index finger, so it's going to be, tom is going to play the E, index is going to play the G, so once you have the amount of times down you do it, so it's going to be, mm, So playing everything five times there basically, it's gonna be the first one is gonna be three, it's gonna be three seven, so it's gonna be what's the first one? Second one, third one. The fourth time is gonna be seven and nine. Ninth fret on the G, sorry if you have mentioned. Then it's gonna be one more time. So, three of those, one of these, and one more of those. And the second part is gonna be it's gonna be um three more of these, but you're gonna land you're gonna finish the fourth time is just gonna be one of the 7th fret on the E string, so it's going to be, the second part is going to be like this. So, one, two, three, one. It's the fourth time. So we'll start again. Back to the very start, slowly. First bit, next bit. And that is it. And the next part is going to be, you're going to slide up to the 12th fret on the A string. And you're gonna have your fourth finger, middle finger, the twelfth fret, A string, and fourth finger, eleventh fret on the G string. So you're gonna slide into that. See, it's gonna be. You can start around the ninth or tenth fret if you like. But you're gonna slide into the twelfth and then hit the eleventh fret on the G. And that is the very first part of the riff. So we'll start it again. Let's run through it. See if you wanna follow along. So it's gonna be. The second part, it's going to be 5th fret on the E, 6th fret on the G. It's going to be the exact same pattern as the last one. Except on the second time round, for this, you stop on the G string, you don't, you don't do one more of the E string. So instead of this, that one, you leave this one out when you're doing this part. So. stops there. Then you're gonna do... So we get to that part. So again we're gonna do the second part again. One more little run of that slowly. 7th fret, I should have mentioned that, 7th fret on the G. And back to the 6th, so... And the next part, it's gonna be slid to the 9th fret on the A string. From like the 7th or 6th if you like. Then you're going to play the 7th fret on the G. So. so we'll run through the whole thing very slowly. So you can try to follow along if you like. Here we go. That is the intro riff, and of course this thing. That, that does that one more time in there, but you can still do the both of them together. Obviously it's one lead and one rhythm. Now for the amount of times this happens, um, 
It does this whole thing, like that whole part where it's like... It does that whole part twice, and then the third time, uh, when you get to the last, when you get to the second part, it kind of just stops around there, it just cuts off, and it goes into the dance kind of music. Yeah, really good synthesizer sound and all that kind of thing. So, let's run through it exactly as it is. So we'll start off. Oh. Now that's, while that happens, you start. So, forget what you must, wouldn't really bother with that part to be honest. It's just if you want to play it, it only happens twice throughout the whole song, I believe. So let's do it one more time. Let's run through it exactly as it is. myself. Yeah, so anyway, <laughs> that is the riff. That is the song basically. Again, it does the whole parts, the every both parts twice. And then on the third run it does this part once, the seven and nine. And then as soon as it gets to this one, it kind of just rings out from there. It doesn't do it the next it doesn't do the last one. So it's twice and then basically one of these and half of this part. So it's like two and three quarters I guess times. And it's very it's very simple. It's it's very easy. Um, it's fun to play along to, but it only lasts for like, what, 20 seconds of the song, 25, 30 seconds even. It's not the longest part, it's just a little part of the guitar. But it's fun to play along to, so, hope you enjoyed this lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.